In this episode, I'm going to talk about the Jetson Nano Environment Setup. First, we start off with hardware. We have the physical Jetson, we have a couple of controller components, and we have some sensors. On the Jetson, we're going to be running Ubuntu 18.04. The Jetpack 5, which supports 2004, is not actually supported on the Jetson Nano uh, until their next generation, which comes in a few years. In order to run a boxy install, we're actually going to use a ROS 2004 container running on 1804, so we get all of the benefits of the new software running on this older host operating system. You can still talk to hardware by punching through the container, and I'll show how that works. Inside of the container, we're actually going to be running ROS and numerous components. For the initial setup, we're going to have a motor controller, an IMU, camera, the time of flight sensor, and a twist ROS node, which allows you to use a joystick. Now, to demonstrate the distributed nature of ROS, we're actually going to run some ROS nodes on a host computer. In this case, I'm going to be using Windows. On the Windows side, I'll be using the development environment, so Visual Studio Code. We'll be remoting into the Jetson Nano. I'm also going to be using a hardware accelerated ROS node called the Onyx Runtime ROS node, which allows hardware inferencing on a big GPU. This can run on the Nano as well. We'll also be using visualization on the Windows side and the joystick. So the joystick will connect to Windows, publish to the Jetson, the Teleop Twist will interpret those joystick commands, turn them into command velocities, which will drive the motor. So now let's set up the Jetson Nano. To get started with the Jetson Nano, we're going to first have to install the operating system. Go to developer.nvidia.com, select Platforms, Jetson Developer Kits. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to find the Jetson Nano. Select not the buy now, but this little link in here, Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Then click Get Started, and this will take you to the installation page. You'll want to install Belinda Etcher, which is a tool for flashing SD cards with Linux. And it's mentioned here in the documentation on the right image to disk. So first go ahead and download the SD card image and then select your appropriate operating system. So if you're on Windows, select and download Etcher, launch it, and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch over to Etcher now. I've already downloaded the image, so I'm going to open the downloaded zip file, select the SD card. Now, NVIDIA recommends a 32 gig SD card. However, I wouldn't do this with less than 256. Once you get Docker installed, once you get the, the ROS2 images installed, you're not going to have much space left with 32 gigs. So I definitely recommend a larger SD card. And then select Flash. Now, it will warn you that this is pretty big, but that's OK. So then it's going to sit here and Flash. Once flashing is completed, we can go ahead and put that SD card in the Jetson Nano and boot it up, hopefully. Yay, it booted. Password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're not actually going to be using the NVIDIA UI, so I'm actually going to turn it off so that it saves um, memory and 
uh, CPU for robotics, and we're actually going to remote into it. So now that it's rebooted after we set the multi-user target, we now we have a command line login. We can go in, ahead and log in here, set it up for SSH, uh, and then remote into it. I'm going to link to the videos that I built earlier that show how to do this, uh, and then we'll come back and set up this specific development environment.